Hi, hello. It's been a while since uh, I've given you guys a video update uh, while I'm rambling, so I decided that it might be time to do just that. Uh, yeah, this is House Flipper. I like playing it from time to time. And my latest work is this house, which I've decided to turn into a house dedicated to, or I should say not dedicated, but inspired by Hogwarts. So we first come in and here's the sitting room. It's uh, small enough, I gotta admit. Yeah, there are electronics. I mean, this house is not Hogwarts, it's just inspired by Hogwarts. So we have TVs, we have computers, you know the drill. Uh, we have windows, <laughs> yeah. First door that you have probably seen here is a library and uh, also a cabinet for studying. So there are quite a lot of books as you can see. We also have a section that is uh, not a restricted section as it could have been, but it differs from the other uh, bookcases because I decided that we needed to give this room a little bit more color, you know? And yeah, there's a computer, there are bookcases, it's a library, which has an exit. Yes, you can enter it straight away from the street. Then we have our dining room, which is, of course, inspired by the Great Hall. Uh, I was particularly inspired by the pictures uh, where the Great Hall was decorated for Christmas, which explains the presence of all those Christmas decorations. Of course, uh, there is a chimney, well, I'm not a chimney, but a fireplace uh, with wood for this fireplace. And of course, the four tables, and I hope I uh, placed all the tables correctly, but it was based on um, some screenshots, so it might not be, but <laughs> it's uh, it's okay, I think. So, of course, we have Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Of course, some portraits just to make the space livelier. I decided not to give uh, the uh, I decided not to give the common rooms uh, curtains because well, to be perfectly honest, I don't like dealing with curtains in this game and in Sims 2, to be honest. So yeah, uh, we have a lively back. What's the word? Uh, backspace, which I'm gonna be decorating with you guys because it's obviously not finished, not even started. And here we have a beautiful view, uh, a little bit of a river with a small waterfall, but yeah, it's beautiful. Did I want to get rid of this tree? No, I think I didn't want to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, I definitely didn't want to. Okay, let's go explore more. Uh, those two rooms. This first is a regular bathroom. It's very small indeed, but it has everything you might need. Shower, toilet, wash your hands, do whatever. So yeah, very small, but very functional. But the next door, it is also a bathroom, but this one was inspired by the prefect's bathroom. So we go in. We have rich walls. Uh, we have a lot of decorations, both on the walls and uh, on the floor. We have curtains, because this is a bathroom, of course. Everything is richly toned, and uh, the perfect bathroom had a lot of green, so I included uh, as much green as my inspiration let me. Of course, uh, you can see that there aren't really a lot of details in this bathroom, but uh, um, I think I only decorated uh, one or two bathrooms in this build as much as I should have. So yeah, 
we have a very pretty perfect bathroom with a giant massaging bathtub so we go exploring into the kitchen uh, it has a lot of wooden uh, a lot of wooden meuble no uh, what's the word furniture and uh, I googled um, Hogwarts's kitchen and I saw that it had a uh, giant and I mean giant uh, cookers well not cookers but you know what I mean and I decided that uh, I would place those uh, instead of the grand cookers we have in Hogwarts because that is the biggest and the grandest thing we had in the game and of course a lot of wooden tones not much decorations did I put anything here at all no nope. I did not but I don't think it matters because everything is handled by the house elves anyway, not by us. But the uh, two things, just to be grander, a giant freezer, everything you need to. And canonically, Hufflepuff is the closest to the kitchen, so next we proceed into the Hufflepuff chamber. You go in, there's uh, a warm dark and yellow, there are a lot of dark and yellow tones, there's a kitten on the wall because I like kittens, and I'm pretty sure most Hufflepuffs do as well. We have some plants around, uh, so wait, why did I place the curtain here but not there? I think I should rectify it, shouldn't I? Uh, one can drop by. Did I? <laughs> Why did I put it like that? <laughs> uh, this looked really weird. And it is uh, rarely that I use a carpet as a floor for the whole space, but I decided to give it a go here. We also have an exit to our backspace. And let me just make sure it has what it needs to have. I think it was this color, wasn't it? Nope, nope. Definitely this one. Alright. Voila. It is... Is it longer? I think it's longer. It doesn't really matter, does it? And of course the bathroom. It isn't richly decorated and it's pretty small, but it has everything you need. Uh, of course the windows have curtains, because it's a fucking bathroom. A beautiful picture we see. It is also uh, dark and gold, very pretty, I think. I would like to have a bathroom like that. I mean, grand and pretty. And yeah, I think it has everything we might need. So, yeah, let's explore further. We need to access the second floor. When we go upstairs, I should probably replace these doors, shouldn't I? Yep, I definitely should. And this door as well. Just don't look while I replace those, alright? Don't look. You promised me. And I will hold you to that promise. Thank you very much. Now I want to find those exact doors. It's this one. Right, alright. Alright, let's place it. Oh no, it was darker, sorry. Wrong door. Don't look. Don't look. You promised me. Yep, this is the door. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And the third one. Uh, 
this is the first chamber. I mean, this is the first chamber that we see when we access the second floor. Oh, I think it's a little bit empty. Let me just choose something pretty for this poor bear wall. I think it could be another Mona Lisa because it's next to the Griffin door chamber, but. I'm not sure I want to repeat myself. Or should I? I don't think it's bad. I mean, uh, all the portraits visit each other in <laughs> different in different paintings frames all day, so it wouldn't be weird to find uh, the fat lady everywhere you go, wouldn't it? So, yeah. right, let's place her. I want it more or less centered. I think that might be okay. Yep, it is okay. All right, so the first uh, bedroom we access is a Gryffindor bedroom. Do not judge me, it is a nursery, yes, but um, let me tell you, when I first saw this room, when it wasn't done, it was already a nursery and it was already in the red tones, so I just decided to uh, go with the flow and now it's a Gryffindor nursery. I don't disrespect Giri, I don't disrespect Gryffindors, and they are lovely people, I'm sure, but this is just a red nursery. And because it's a bedroom, it has it actually has curtains, so uh, a lot of toys because it's nursery, a lot of things you might need for a baby, towels, uh, Kleenex, toys, <laughs> uh, a big giant scene I would love to play with uh, when I was a toddler myself, a place to sit for adults, some nice decorations, well. You can pretty much see everything yourself. It's not large, I understand, but it's something and I think it's turned out to be actually one of my favorite rooms in the whole building. So, let's go and explain and explore, I'm sorry, this part of the corridor. It's, uh, I don't know why things keep disappearing. Perhaps my PC is overrun with work stuff now, but anyways, there are actually two plans. Uh, you come to the balcony and the view, the view is stunning, the view is magnificent and I would love to live here myself in real life. There are some places to sit, to contemplate, to think about life. And next we are going to access the Slytherin chamber. It's not scary, I think it's pretty nice, I mean it's big, there are a lot of things, but also a lot of free space uh, to sit, to enjoy oneself. Of course, uh, green and silver, or in this case, green and grey tones, uh, green pictures, uh, green painting, uh, green decorations, and a thing which keeps disappearing on me, of course, curtains, because I mean, well, that is a bedroom, and you need to be able to sleep. I think this is the most beautiful thing I have created ever in this game, or one of those, anyway. I like it very much. And, of course, a bathroom. We all remember that uh, a second floor bathroom for girls where Myrtle died was big enough, so this bathroom is big too. It is grand, it is definitely decorated more than a lot of the other bathrooms in this house. Of course, there are curtains, uh, there is a beautiful picture, it is green, it is grey, I mean, it's more like white and green and black. A little bit of black, but yeah. 
it's just decorated this is very nice it's it has a big bath i uh wanted a shower but i didn't know where to put it so i just decided to put the shower right near the bathtub tell me in the comments if you would have done it i also contemplated just uh placing a toilet there and placing a shower here but in the end i decided that uh two windows is always worse for the shower than just one window so yeah I like this bathroom as well. I think it's very nice. I know that uh, those two oh, oh, um, things are misplaced. Well, I mean, the right one is displaced, but I uh, haven't managed to put it on its place. So please don't kill me. I tried. I just didn't manage. And then I decided that it wasn't worth it. Alright. We're continuing on to my favorite room because it is made for my house for Ravenclaw and voila I thought that um, placing a bed directly in front of the door wasn't giving me as much personal space uh, as I would have wanted so first we come into the room directly where uh, the bed lies <laughs> stands exists and yeah it it is uh blue and white and blue and gray i think it turned out to be pretty interesting with a small telescope out to the window i thought that um this bedroom should be more eccentric than the other ones so i deliberately placed this nightstand away from the bed i thought it was a very interesting decision and yeah it has kittens because i love kittens it has a lot of books it has a lot of scenes because we all understand that raven clothes need their scenes and it has this globe that i am not sure how to use uh in my other builds but here in a Ravenclaw bedroom, I think it's perfect. And of course, a Van Gogh picture. If we stand on the bed, there are also a little bit of decorations, mostly blue, and uh, a little bit of electronics. I mean, it's got two monitors for a computer, it's got this radio. It's a radio, isn't it? Yep, it's a radio. They've got their own chess set, uh, a little bit more one goes pictures, and just a quiet place for studying where almost nothing would uh, drag their attention away from their books. And yeah, I think it's the only uh, chamber where I've placed a telephone, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Ravenclaw's world is different. <laughs> uh, yeah, I. It's just an excuse for myself to spoil the Ravenclaw. I also deliberately mismatched those curtains because uh, this part is more blue and this part of the room is more white and I thought it looked cute. I hope you agree and if not, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> and of course, a bathroom. I think this is the grandest bathroom in the whole house and I definitely gave it more detail than any other bathroom in the house even among those that I have actually decorated. Uh, this whole wall is dedicated to the things we need most. Shower, bath, tooth thing. <gasps> I have forgotten to place a mirror. I will rectify this in a moment. And yes, this is a bathroom I have decorated most. It has a lot of those angry rubber ducks. Well, not angry, but scary rubber ducks. A lot of furniture you would expect and not expect to see in a bathroom in a real life. And right now I need to choose a mirror. We have two things which I think means we should choose two mirrors or at least a one big mirror. How big is this one? not really big i know there are big ones i'm gonna get to them in a moment what is this one i think the color is 
Yep, the color is definitely nice. I need to center this. Yep, I think that is nice. And another one. Let me center it. Yep, 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 yep. Voila. We now have mirrors in the bathroom and yeah, I think it's complete. It definitely suits the color. So, the last but not the least part of this house is the part I actually uh, love the least. I don't really like gardening in this game, it's hard for me. So, I am asking you to join me for the ride. Making the grass go away is especially <laughs> a task I don't love and I think I would hate it in the real life as well. I have never cut grass in my life like that with a machine, uh, which I don't remember the proper name of. I have only, I think in my life, I have only helped uh, my family to take care of the graves or our dead members like we would go to a grave and there would be a lot of stray parts and we would just take them out with our bare hands or if we were lucky we would use uh, gloves on our hands before we remove them just a little bit more trimming here all right If you don't remember, and if you're curious, I'm residing in the Lviv region, and uh, you are probably aware, but if not, uh, Putin uh, wanted to double his efforts in taking Ukraine for himself before the 9th of, the 9th of May, because it's... Uh, a holiday dedicated to beating the Nazis after the Second World War, but unfortunately that means that he doubled his efforts on all the front and uh, the last uh, like 48 hours uh, we in the Lviv region had uh, a lot of air raid alerts, much more than we are used to. Uh, there were explosions and there are people who were harmed uh, because of the Russian bombs in Lviv itself. Fortunately not in the region, at least not yet. We pray that it stays like that and of course we pray that uh, the bombing stops all over Ukraine. We have been praying for Donbass for eight years you now. We are praying for all our territory and honestly, it's horrible, it's a horrible feeling uh, to know that you can do nothing to stop it. Well, I mean, I say we can do nothing to stop it, but uh, my friends and I, we are donating to Ukrainian army every day, we are donating to the volunteers who save lives, we are donating uh, to organizations and to individuals who buy medicine for the people who cannot buy those medicines for themselves and to deliver it to them. I mean, we actually uh, do some things and we try to stay safe to let our army take care of things while we are out of the harm's way. And uh, my rational part understands that it's uh, something we are doing and that is a way we are fighting, the way we are doing our part in this war, in this genocide of my people, but of course uh, we always want to do more and we want <sighs> for the Russians, I don't, of course, I don't mean all Russians, but those who are on our land, Putin himself and all of his allies uh, in civilians and in army to leave us the fuck alone we hate them with uh, all of our hearts now this is going to be a change of subject but 
I am not good with the gardening part of house flipper and uh, you will see what I mean but I will still attempt to decorate the garden before I sell the house so that I could get a little bit more money for it. This is a big house and it certainly took quite a lot of my time and a lot of effort and I poured my heart into this. This is the first time I have ever thought of decorating a house flipper house uh, in a Hogwarts scene and I really hope that you enjoy that. Please let me know down in the comments if you have some questions about games, about me, about the situation, anything at all, you can also ask them down below. I answer every comment that is in languages that I understand. And sometimes, when I have the time and patience, I even ask my friends or use the translator to translate and answer the questions that are in the languages I do not dispose the knowledge of, like, for example, Spanish. I answered quite a lot of questions in Spanish on my channel, considering I have never started learning it. Alright, this already looks better than before I started. I think I'm gonna trim all that is left just a little bit. Where do I need to go? I need to go here. All right. And I think this is almost perfect. Yep. What about this part? This part is also nice. Aha. Uh -huh. I found you. So I wouldn't find you? Well, I didn't. What are you going to do now? Run? Run? Mm, like you're scared? Run for your life? Well, too late? Too bad? Wow. That is... That is a lot of grass texture that is currently hidden behind the wall. I'm not really sure how I was supposed to take care of it all without demolishing the wall and I physically cannot demolish it because this is impossible in a game. Well, I'm gonna try to do my best but of course this is... This is harder than it might look. I don't even know what angle I should use while getting rid of it. More lower angles, alright. Lower angles, here I come. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than it was before. Also this part. This is horrible, isn't it? Don't judge me for it, I told you this was not my favorite part, and it's definitely not the easiest one. If you find this mechanic easy, you are some kind of a talented person or just a patient person. I'm not sure whether I am talented or not, but I'm definitely not patient. There is no doubt about it. I haven't been patient from my childhood. I have become more patient with the experiences of my life and with a little bit of therapy that I have attended, but of course it didn't change the fact that I'm impatient. It's, it only changed uh, my ability to cope with my impulsivity and with my unavailability, not my unavailability, but my inability to wait, or at least my inability to wait, uh, like a patient person would wait. If I need to wait for something, I will wait for it, but uh, 
I mean, I have ADHD, so I will be bored, I will walk in one place, I will try to read, I will try to browse uh, social networks, I will talk to people, I will do something just to be rid of the waiting aspect as much as I could be rid of it. Now that we are talking about Harry Potter, which I guess we kind of were since the beginning of this video, I actually have something to tell you. Uh, well, not something to tell you, like I have some important news. No, I just have been reading a lot of fanfiction uh, again, uh, as I do every some time. <laughs> And uh, right now I'm reading an interesting series called A Linear Cycle. I believe... Uh, no, I don't remember the, the author name or their nickname, so sorry for that, but it is quite interesting uh, and sometimes it grabs my attention with a force that I haven't expected in the beginning. It definitely took some turns that I weren't waiting, uh, that I weren't expecting, so, yeah, those turns. Uh, I will not spoil this scene for you if you want to read it yourself. Um, linear Cycle has 10 or more works, and at this moment I believe the series is finished, the series are finished, anyway. Uh, let me just check what do I need for send it to I think I will definitely go for an English garden because it's one one of the easiest for me and two it is kind of Hogwarts themed. I mean, of course, it's uh, Hogwarts itself is in Scotland, but it is still on the British Isles, so... Roses, benches, fountains, let's go. I think I would start with some... I will start... I will stop talking now, because I cannot really think and talk at the same time, so sorry for that. I will speed up this part.
I hope you like this house, uh, tell me what you thought down in the comments below, and if this was a house for me, I wouldn't have put so much furniture here, so many pieces away, but um, it is for selling, and the more I place, by my logic, which uh, might not be saying a lot, I'm not an expert in garden keeper, but my logic is the more I place, the better my score will be, and uh, the more money I will get. So let's check out how much shall we? Right, that is all for today. Thank you for being with me. Let's check out the pictures before you go. I think it turned out pretty great overall. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day!